magnificent nature makes a man's heart flutter. I visited Bolivia, the heart of South America, which captivates travelers as Mother Nature gushes out a majestic charm and a rough yet beautiful primal mystery. The innocent nature with multiple facets spread below the Andes at an elevation of 7,000 meters. The lives of Indios took roots in this land and brought civilization to it. Bolivia is a country that perfectly satisfies fantasies about exotic landscapes. The Andes crosses through the heart of South America. This is Bolivia, a dream destination for travelers. I am on my way to Bolivia on the opposite side of the globe from Korea. The flight takes 36 hours with layovers in Los Angeles in the US and Lima in Peru. The long flight takes me to Bolivia, a country in the center of South America like its heart. I arrive in La Paz, the capital. Another hour long flight takes me to Uyuni. Approximately five times the size of the Korean Peninsula, Bolivia is a highland country where the Andes takes up one-third of the land. The capital of Bolivia is La Paz, located roughly 4,000 meters above sea level. The reason we went to La Paz, the first capital from the sky, is to catch a flight to Uyuni. This small aircraft will shorten the trip that would have taken me over 10 hours by car. However, I didn't know it would be this small. It makes me realize that I am in a foreign land. I am excited and worried at the same time. We are finally ready for takeoff. One by one, I see scenery I wouldn't be able to see from land. It's been 40 minutes after the plane left the airport at La Paz. The earth is covered in pure white, as if covered in white paint. Uyuni, the world's largest and most beautiful salt desert, appears. A highland located at an elevation of some 3,600 meters above sea level looks more like snow-covered land than a desert. The area of Uyuni is 20 times the size of Seoul in Korea. What used to be the sea a long time ago became a lake, and the lake dried out because of the dry climate and turned into a salt desert. This place was my dream destination for a long time. I arrived in Uyuni, a small city in the southwestern region of Bolivia. The population is approximately 10,000. Not many people live here, and there isn't much to see. But Uyuni became famous for being the gateway to the salt desert. The streets are filled with travel companies that offer desert tours. I choose one and go inside. Hi, my friend. Hola. 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 Maybe it's tomorrow. The tour agent knows I'm Korean by just looking at me. She has a sharp eye, but she hasn't learned the language yet. Um, 
Yeah, this is uh -huh. Korean? Yeah, we are Korean. Yeah. yeah, this is Korean too? No, no, actually it's Japanese. <laughs> Japanese, uh, yeah, I can... We are completely I... different yeah. cultures. <laughs> yeah. This is um, Korean. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for how many days? Yeah, maybe two, two, uh, two nights, two nights, three days. Two nights, three days. Uh, we have to depart to like uh, 4 a.m. Oh no, 3 p.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 3 a.m., okay? I will be spending the next three days and two nights at the salt desert of Uyuni for the first time in my life. I don't think I can fall asleep tonight because of the excitement. I will be traveling through the Uyuni salt flats for three days, and the first stop is a three hour drive from the city of Uyuni. It is Sol de Menana, a volcanic region at an elevation of almost 5,000 meters above sea level. Early the next morning, I travel along the longest mountain range in the world. Uyuni is located in the Andes. The vapor you see in the distance is proof of it. This is about 4,900 meters. Wow, this is so high. It's a mountain. Sol de Manana, meaning morning sun, is a geothermal zone. A great amount of vapor rises from 130 meters below the ground at the break of dawn and creates an amazing view. There are some 600 volcanoes of various sizes in this region. They were all made by volcanic activity of the Andes. million years ago, the American plate and Pacific plate were uplifted after a collision. The energetic land of the Andes is still alive and changing. The strong pressure from the interior of the earth pushes out high temperature gas, along with mud from lower grounds, which looks like this. Steam rises from underground, creating an interesting sight as the earth boils like porridge. I stick my hand in the steam out of curiosity. The current temperature is below zero. However, it gets hot around the craters that gush out steam. I bravely jump into the midst of it. I almost slip. The ground is entirely wet from the vapor that constantly surges out. That's not the only unforgettable thing. Sulfur that is hidden underground gets mixed with water and creates a strong stench. However, I am able to put up with it in front of such an amazing view. <laughs> <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Kim. Oh, it's a really fantastic scenery, right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, so have you ever seen before? No, no, no. it's the first time for me. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's so fantastic. So how, how was it? 
How was it? It's amazing. Really and really the steam is very hot. Uh -huh. And you hear it bumbling. Yeah. And you can see it also. So it's great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and with the sun coming up. Yeah, it's, it's a beautiful view. Yeah. We don't have much time left to enjoy this breathtaking view. It is prettiest during the short time while the sun rises. The morning sun. The area earned its name Sol de Mignana because of the characteristics of the geysers. Is it because he's worried he won't be able to see it for much longer? A tourist uses special equipment to take photographs in front of the volcanoes. Yes. <laughs> he says that he brought this special camera because he is traveling alone. It's great idea. <laughs> we take a picture together to document our encounter. Everyone takes their last photos on the living and moving earth. I leave the volcanoes that blow out hot vapor as if they were cold. And head toward a small outdoor hot spring located 30 minutes away. It's a famous attraction in this area. This is the perfect place to melt your freezing body on a cold highland. Several tourists who arrived before me are already enjoying the hot spring. I can't wait to soak my body in the water. The cold weather makes my body shiver. At first, I consider skipping the open air bath because of the cold, but I would have regretted it if I did. <laughs> the spring that constantly gushes out of the ground is between 30 and 40 degrees Celsius. It's warm enough to melt my freezing limbs in an instant. The air is cold, but my body is warm. A beautiful scene that can only be enjoyed at the highlands spreads before my eyes. I experienced great rest and relaxation at the volcanic region of Uyuni. I marvel at the beautiful and amazing nature. I get back in the car with the gift from Sol de Mignana for a three-hour drive. I am headed for the Uni Uni Salt Flats, the vast salt flats that are known to be hard to estimate its end. Just like every other gorgeous place in the world, I have to travel a long and rough road to reach the salt flats. The journey is even more difficult because the roads don't have any sign. However, the color of the ground starts changing. And the moment a bright white sheet spreads out endlessly, you know that you have arrived at the salt desert. I feel like this path will take me to the end of the world. 
Further away, I see people who left earlier than I did. These flags are from tourists all over the world and are left in the vast salt desert that seems to stretch out forever. The flags indicate that this is the center of the desert. <laughs> the real attraction in the center of the desert is actually next to the flags. This may look like an ordinary house, but it is a salt hotel made top to bottom with salt collected from Uyuni. There are several more accommodations like this in different locations in the desert, but this one in the center is the most popular. Uh -huh. Hola. Hello. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not only is the building made out of salt, but so are the furniture like chairs and tables along with the decorations. The entire hotel was made out of a thick layer of salt cut that was cut out. I am able to experience and make special memories here that I can't find anywhere else in the world. ¿Se siente más rico comer acá o...? Sí, sí. mucho más rico. Sí. Sí. Más saludable, sí, más lindo. Sí, sí. Sin sal. Sin sal. sal. No trajimos sal, lo único. They show us. <laughs> Instead of explaining it in words. <laughs> <laughs> the Salt Hotel makes even the old man with gray hair act with childlike innocence. The vast desert is pretty much the front yard of the Salt House. I wonder why people are lying on the desert outside instead of inside the hotel. They all have something by the sides of their heads. The tourists are getting ready to take a picture. Hola. Hola. A banana on top of a dinosaur. What kind of picture are they taking? Una, dos, tres. Una, dos, tres. They are taking pictures that cause an optical illusion by ignoring perspective. This is something all the tourists do when visiting the salt flats that are white and transparent, where perspective can be disregarded. Now they check the pictures. The people are on top of the banana mounted on the dinosaur's back. <laughs> the day at the Salt Hotel was short, but it will remain a lasting memory because of the unique view. I cross the desert in a hurry before the sun sets. We drive an hour or so. We stop at an island in the middle of the desert that is named for its fish-like shape. The most impressive site is the colony of massive cacti that covers the entire islet. The Incas that ruled the region several hundreds of years ago planted them, thinking of cacti as a patron saint. A cactus actually only grows one meter a century. These are living fossils. 
이 소금밖에 없을 것 같았던 그 소금 사막에 갑자기 한 가운데 그 바위 군락처럼 생긴 물고기 섬이 나타났어요. 그 하늘에서 봤을 때 물고기 모양으로 생겼다고 해서 물고기 섬인데 일단 대단한 게제 키에 뭐 거의 세배 이상 돼 보이는 서인장 군락이 지금 어마어마하게 펼쳐지고 있거든요. 이것도 갑작스럽게 나타난 대단한 볼거리인 것 같아요. 아 정말 높죠? The giant cacti that have been growing over the past hundreds of years are the living witnesses of the history of the Indias. This island, where the cacti have their roots set in, is a live museum that proves that the Uyuni salt flats were once part of the sea. Fossils of fish and shells are easily found all over the island. The dry winds cause the seawater to evaporate, leaving us with the Uyuni that we see now. The natural conditions created something more than the salt flats. It is the mummy custom of the Incas. Several hundred years have passed, but even the skin and hair remain to this day. My time spent in Uyuni passes as I learn these various things. That night, I unpack and settle down at a lodge. Finally, rain starts showering over Uyuni Desert, which was in the hot sun all day. Wait, what is this? I take a closer look and realize it isn't rain. At Uyuni, which is located at a high elevation, rain often becomes hail. I take in the unusual experience with my entire body. There is a reason I keep smiling, even though it hurts to go out in the hail. A lake forms in Uyuni when it rains, reflecting everything in the world. Will I be able to experience that ecstatic state? Early the next morning, the Uyuni I saw yesterday is gone like magic. I start off early the next day to see the desert that turned into a lake from the rain. I was worried we might not be able to drive through it because it rains so much. But thankfully, it isn't that bad. El sol más o menos está saliendo a las 5 adelante y empieza a pintar el panorama. The amazing view after it rains in Uyuni starts at sunrise. I prepare myself mentally and physically before setting foot on Uyuni, which has become a lake. Then I feel something under my feet. Right before sunrise, the light of the sun colors the entire world in red. Then the sun starts rising slowly. 
the whole desert is filled with the reflection of the sky. Uyuni has become a natural mirror of nature. I am walking on the world's largest mirror. Wow, the moment that seemed it would last forever ends. A breeze leaves ripples on the water, erasing the view instantaneously. The perfect reflection of Uyuni is even more precious because it is a rare sight. However, there is still more to see. The salt is not just different in the size of the grains. The salinity is five times that of regular salt. I am mesmerized by the salt of Uyuni, and I am seeing it for the first time ever. A truck passes by in the distance. It looks like a chipayan, a native to Uyuni. The Chipaya tribe made the Uyuni Desert their home and have been collecting salt to make a living for several decades. Only they are allowed to collect salt in this area. Over 90% of the salt gathered is used for food and the rest is used for livestock. The amount of salt in Uyuni is as much as 10 billion tons. The land is too barren to grow anything, but God has blessed them with the special gift of salt. Uyuni has taken up a special place in my heart. Wow. <laughs> I know it is the desert, but the breathtaking view makes it hard to distinguish it from the sky and the sea. Although my boot-cladded feet and fingers pressed down on the camera shutter are frozen, my eyes and heart indulge in the treat to the maximum. This is definitely the most beautiful and marvelous sight I have ever seen in my entire life. Wow, this 
아 너무 압도적으로 멋있네요 우윤이 소금 사막은 제가 한 100%를 기대했다면 한 150% 이상을 보여주는 곳인 것 같아요 정말 어딜 가도 너무 멋진 장면들이 많이 펼쳐져가지고요 If a cumulus cloud forms in the sky, it is also painted on the desert. When a person stands on the ground, an identical person stands with him right below his feet. This perfect harmony of nature gives the tourist who visit Uyuni an unforgettable memory. I have always thought that traveling starts with anticipation and ends with wistfulness. I only have one day left in Uyuni. And I keep wishing I could spend another day here. The day I spent in Uyuni today will last in my memory for a very long time. I leave the salt flats of Uyuni and head for Laguna, Colorado, better known as the Red Lagoon. Wow, the trees are all over here. Hundreds of flamingos that turned pink from eating the plankton of the Red Lagoon create a picturesque view with the lake, making it seem surreal. The Andes reached an elevation of 7,000 meters above sea level and the Red Lake spreads out on top of it. And flocks of flamingos freely go about the lake. My trip to the Uyuni salt flats ends with the flamingos dancing around in groups, drawing endless admiration. This land has constantly been moving as the sea became a desert. The history of this land will never end, even after people leave it and move on. Hay maravillas de mi tierra, pisando del cielo. 